Yo, what is cool y'all? Hope that all you guys are doing well. In today's tutorial, I'll be breaking down how you guys can create this distorted shake that gives a trippy look that I've been seeing going around in some drill music videos for a while. It's really easy to make. It does require some plugins, but I'll be going through it step by step for you guys. So sit back and let's get straight into it. So I'm in After Effects and right here I have my scene from this NLE Choppa music video. I really hate this song, but the video is cool, so I'm going to use it and let's get straight into it and i'm gonna add on the first effect called sapphire shake and with this effect i like to keep the amplitude really low so i'm going to put it at 1.2 and then i like to bump up the frequency really high to somewhere around 23 something like that and also turn on motion blur and then we're going to keyframe this so we'll create a keyframe for the amplitude and go somewhere around 10 frames forward and put it back to zero and now we have something that looks like this and that's a decent shape but we're going to make it smoother so grab your keyframes easy ease them by pressing f9 head to the graph editor and let's create a graph like this just to make it a bit more smoother to make sure that it goes a little faster in the beginning and slows down throughout the clip pretty smooth and we will be doing the same for pretty much all of the effects yo sorry to interrupt i just wanted to let you guys know that i just dropped my opium preset pack for premiere pro 2 and it doesn't need any paid plugins so it's beginner friendly and all you need to do is really download that and then you have all of these drag and drop effects that you can drag onto your scene as easy as that but i'll have it linked in the description for you guys and if you're interested you can go check that out but onto the video next up i'm gonna add a turbulent displays and this effect kind of gives a watery look and the amount I'm going to keep at 100 and the size somewhere around 300 and you can play around with these settings uh, depending on your clip and see what fits you and then I'm going to create a keyframe on the amount right there and then turn it back to zero around 10 frames and now it looks like this that's decent and now I'll be adding on a distort chroma effect and this effect is what gives the trippy look and the amount I'm going to keep at 1 so we can create a keyframe right there and turn up the blur lens to 300 and then go 10 frames in and turn the amount back to 0 and now it looks like this which is cool but I want to make it look a bit better so I'll be easy easing the distort chroma keyframes and head to the graph editor again and make something like this and that looks good but I think I can spice it up a little bit more by adding a glow and I'll be using a deep glow you can use whatever glow you want to and with the deep glow I'll be turning up the threshold a bit and same with the exposure and radius And then once again keyframe the exposure, go somewhere around 10 frames in and turn it back to zero. Easy is my keyframes and create a graph for this one. And make it somewhere something like this. And now we're done and I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Let me know what you guys think and make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial. And I'll see you guys in the next one.